The latest feature-packed update to Xbox One is here. Xbox One X and Xbox One S now support a 2560 by 1440 resolution for games and media. This feature should be especially appealing to Xbox One owners who use a 1440p display for PC gaming. With over a million and a half more pixels than 1080p, this resolution fills the gap between Full HD and 4K displays. But that's not all. We also added an option to turn on AMD Radeon FreeSync for supported TVs and monitors. FreeSync is a form of variable refresh rate, which helps to reduce input latency and minimize display stuttering. The entire Xbox One family of devices will work with FreeSync certified displays. Xbox One S and Xbox One X will also support high dynamic range with FreeSync 2. Auto low latency mode enables your Xbox One to notify your display when you're playing a game. So a TV that also supports ALLM will know to switch to its low latency video mode. Many TVs and monitors refer to low latency mode as game mode. All of these options can be turned on by navigating to your settings menu, selecting display and sound, then video output. Please note that you'll only be able to turn on these settings if your TV or monitor supports them. We've now made broadcasting the mixer even easier. You can start it from anywhere on Xbox One. If you decide to switch a game or exit to the dashboard, your viewers will see a pause screen until you jump back into a game. You will also see a pause indicator on your broadcast overlay. This month, we're also introducing a new form of Mixer interactivity with the Share Controller feature. Mixer streamers on Xbox One can now share control of their game with a viewer on Mixer.com. Just turn on the Share Controller switch from the broadcast pane in your guide and your viewers will be able to share control through an on-screen gamepad in their web browser or by plugging in a controller into their PC. In addition, you can now share captured screenshots and clips directly to Twitter from the Broadcast and Capture tab of the guide. Captures will display and play directly in your Twitter feed instead of showing up as a link. We'll even help you get your media discovered by suggesting hashtags for the title of the game. Preview Insider members have had this for a while, but now everyone can choose to switch between light and dark themes based on time of day. You can personalize your theme to automatically switch based on sunrise and sunset in your specific location. We've also introduced a new high contrast option for light theme, which makes on-screen elements easier to see. Based on customer feedback, we're adding narrator volume controls that are independent from system audio volume. Additionally, we're adding an input learning mode. So for every button you press on an attached input device, Xbox One will say the name of that button and its function. High contrast light theme and narrator options can both be adjusted in the ease of access menu in settings. The Microsoft Edge browser on Xbox One has been updated to a more modern look and feel. Improvements to the favorites and history experience make it simple for you to get back to your favorite sites. Other new features include tab muting, read aloud, and autofill. You can also now download and upload music, pictures, and videos from Microsoft Edge on Xbox One. Your downloaded content can then be browsed with the File Explorer app. Tournaments are now available directly in GameHub, so you don't have to be a member of a club to start a tournament. Simply open the GameHub for a game that supports tournaments. In the Multiplayer tab, select Community Tournaments from the menu on the left-hand side. Here, you can select the option to create tournament. Club administrators can now filter invitation requests based on various criteria, including reputation, gamer score, and recommendations from existing club members. These filters will persist until the administrator changes them, so if you set up or edit club filters, they'll still be there the next time you sign on. Speaking of clubs, you can now sort your club feed to show you what's new, what's hot, or top posts. You can now also disable comments on your own feed posts across clubs, game hubs, and community. 
If you love to rock out to a music playlist while playing your favorite games, then we have good news for you. You can now selectively balance game audio against background music within the guide. Simply navigate down to the app that is playing background music in the guide. Press A to open a new flyout with additional music controls, including a new balance slider that will allow you to prioritize game volume or background music volume. The audio goodness doesn't stop there though. System sounds on home and in the guide have been completely revamped to support spatial audio. Now, the audio cues from your surround sound system will match the actions you see on screen. In addition to all these new features, a subset of users may also see additional experimental features that we did not mention here. These features are only enabled for a portion of the Xbox audience to gauge interest and collect feedback. Many of our Xbox insiders have already had the chance to play with these experiments. If you would like to join them, getting started as an Xbox Insider is easy. Just download the Xbox Insider Hub app on your Xbox One or Windows 10 PC. Thanks for watching.